Right, Shalom, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, all right, and double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so called Negroes, the Latinos, the Native Americans, and whoever around the world. Whether it look like a so-called white man, Chinese man, Japanese man, uh, uh, um, a so-called Syrian, a so-called Jew, <laughs> them so-called Jews on them. Whether it look like a, a so-called African, a so-called East Indian. If your lineage goes back on your father's side to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, despite how you look, you are an Hebrew Israelite from the stock of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Alright, which in these last days, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh is calling back his people to come back into the fold so that the church could build, so that the body of Yahweh Shai could, could uh, 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 be, be made, be made alright, the temple, alright, because the, the church represents his body, which Yahweh Shai is the head of the church, alright, and um, the chief cornerstone, Yahweh Shai, okay, Meaning, if that stone in the, the whole building fall apart. So, Yahweh Shai is a man worthy of praise. Alright? He's a man worthy, worthy, worthy of praise. So, you clowns who say you don't have to praise Yahweh Shai, may Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai destroy you. Because if I'm going to just say this quick, if, if you're out of praise, you're making these fucking church Christians more smarter than you. You guys in the truth to say you don't have to praise Yahweh Shai. Because even these dumb, bugged out, coon, ass church Christians know that this, that that then will be praising the son of the Mosai, right? The, who the believe is the son of the Mosai, Salak, yeah? Them, the, it's them who they just be praising. Alright? They just be praising he. And, 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 you guys now saying you don't have to praise him. So we have to praise. You know, because why? Or what he prays. But may our bar show me our shy destroy you now. This is our one from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. And I go and get into that video. Basically, we have, we have to fight for our heritage because it have some people right now calling themselves us, these so called Jews. Right? We have to fight for what we believe in. This thing is just about belief. Let me see how strong your faith is because the last day is coming. The days, the time of tribulation, that microchip, that RFID microchip, that World War Three, that martial law, all these things what the apostles been prophesying for years and years and years and years going down the line, it actually here, that time reach. And now let me see who it is going to have that faith to endure, because only faith will going to make you endure. Faith and belief in who? Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now, what I'm saying is that we have to fight for we believe in now this is what paul say second corinthians chapter 2 verse 10 it says for though we walk in the flesh <coughs> yeah we are in the flesh are in the flesh you know from time to time you'll go off because this is what the flesh does do read romans chapter 7 paul said that we do not war after the flesh no we 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 war in physically i know going look to box Esau down or box at elamite down all right or kill Two thirds of the nation of Israel right now. Okay? Because let me just get a quick precept and I will come back to this. These um Hebrews chapter four. Verse 12. It says, For the word of the most high is quick and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword. Alright? Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and as the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. What is so what does do that? The word of the most high. Who is the word of the most high? Let me find out. It's John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with the most was with God, and the word was God. I read, I read it verbatim, right? That is the word. Yahweh Shai. He is the way, the truth, and life. So, his word, and what, what he also was a rock of offense, right? 
He said that whosoever, whosoever shall fall upon this rock shall be broken, and whosoever this rock shall fall upon, it will grind him to powder. Okay? So once you keep on, once you put on your Havashai, and you go out there, and you, you is a, is a fight, you fight him, you fight him with the wood, which is the sword you're picking up. All right, and you bring out your the right way is a warrior fighter, but that is what that is what Paul say. We're not warring after the flesh, because your shy is a spiritual man, and we are spiritual men. Pick up the Bible and we preach, and that the, the scripture saying him was light, all right, and him was light. And if light shine in darkness, you just be seeing all the wicked shit that people. You see what's going on with people in the world right now? They want to continue on in the in the wicked ways. They want to continue on doing evil. And they want to continue on having sex with them with our next man wife. Okay. They want to continue on. Um. Being homosexuals and lesbians and transgenders, and I'ma just say this. Having sex with our next man wife, we all did that. We all did it. Because I didn't get no damn virgin. If you want to get technical. I didn't get no virgin, girl. You know? But you you go at us. <coughs> you, you can't if I, if you know this woman have a man, if you know she have a man and you go and having sex with that woman, knowing that she have a man in she life who she currently having sex with that right now will be considered adultery in the eyesight of the lord all right and and niggas still want to co continue on going on in that continue going on in, in 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 homosexuality selling drugs and all of that all right and how the word which is your shy which is that light which is that that word which sharper than any two-edged sword once that when that started when that started once that come out people just get upset so that is why he just cut them and, and pierce the spirit and soul. As the scriptures say, because they want to continue on in the wicked ways. For this is what the apostle Paul say. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty to the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. Okay? What is that stronghold? That stronghold is Jesus a fake image of the Son of God and a fake name of the Son of God. The Son of God's name is Shai, and he was a so-called black man if he was walking the earth today. Because majority of Jakes <coughs> believe in Jesus Christ, which that is a fake God. Even guys in the truth believe in Jesus Christ. Guys who so-called enlightened. Okay? Guys who so-called enlightened believe that Jesus Christ is going to come back. If Jesus Christ come back on this earth, you 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 guys who believe in him, well, they better find some hole. Because he's coming to put all your ass in slavery. Meaning, if Jesus Christ and Yahawashai is too different. Yahawashai is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, from the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Alright? That is Yahawashai. Okay? The king of Israel. Who sits at the right hand of the Mosai of the majesty on high. Yahawashai. And then you have Jesus Christ. Which the Bible says. The Bible say Christ. But Christ is not his name. The Bible say Christ. But Christ is not his name. Proverbs 30 and 4. Zechariah 14 verse 9. Uh, uh, uh. Zephaniah 3 verse Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 9. Right? What you have against Acts chapter 4 verse 12. Okay? There are many other scriptures. Um Exodus 3 verse 13. Alright? Um Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. Thou shalt call his name. Yahweh Shai, and he shall save his people from their sins, which is the very meaning of his name in the Hebrew. Yah, meaning he, Yahweh Shai, meaning deliverer or savior. Alright? Just wanted to put that out there. So it's a distinction between Christ 
Anya Hawashai. Christ now is a so-called white man from the lineage of Esau. Because that name Christ was put on this fucking image. So we disannul the fucking image and we disannul the name. We don't disannul the image and keep the name. That don't make no damn sense. He had to go disannul the image and keep the name. He had to disannul the image of him being a so-called white man and put up him as a so-called black man but still calling him Jesus Christ. So this is the strongholds we have to pull on. We have to pull on Nate. We have to pull on General Johanna. We have to pull on the IYC. We have to pull on the IYC. We have to pull on the, all these false prophets. These damn churches. All of them. All of them. Because it have right now people coming out saying, You Hebrew Israel are under, under, under getting pissed off at the doctrine. Because that rock of offense is starting to pound them. It's starting to get to them. <laughs> Hebrews 4 and 12 as I now read. Right? It says casting down, verse 5, casting down imaginations. So this is the war we fight in. So therefore, if you believe in this, fight for fight for a believe in. Fight for a believe in. Put on your put on your garments and go outside and preach. Do what it is necessary to get where you believe in because this is what we have to do. Casting down imaginations on every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. That is Esau. That is Esau and two thirds. Because they exalt the self against the knowledge of the Mosai. Esau with the proud self say, hey, science is God. Fuck you and your science, Esau. Yahweh Baal Shami Yahweh is the highest. Alright? I'm bringing into captivity, into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. So, meaning what we control, as Apostle Alagaba said, that is mind control. Right there. We bring in your thoughts into captivity. Alright? To, to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. You have to be obedient in this thing. You have, you, the most I say, scripture say in Samuel, Samuel 15 and 23, obedience is better than sacrifice. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And it, it says in Exodus, I can't remember the scripture, Exodus 23 or Exodus 23 verse 23 somewhere, um, suffer, suffer not the way which to live. So a witch had to be put to death. And if rebellion is, is as he sin of witchcraft, two third of fucking Israel are going to be put to death. And that's thus said, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. And we, not physically, right now killing them, no. This is the weapons of our warfare. The weapons of our warfare is this word. And the fullness, the pure, unadulterated truth of this word. The pure contents, 100% truth of this word again next precept um because as i said right it have people in our land right now calling themselves us they are calling themselves us but they are not us they are not us i'm gonna show you something i'm gonna read this precept this is uh, 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 ephesians 6 and verse 11 it says put on the whole armor of the most high that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So this is what we're preparing for. If you, when you're putting on an armor, back in the ancient world, you're putting on armor, meaning you're going, you're preparing yourself for war. Right? So we fighting. What we fighting for? We're fighting for our land, we're fighting for our heritage, we're fighting for our Lord, first and foremost, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? But he needed not no one to fight for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wish I needed not want to fight for him, but all things must be done in decency and in order. That is the scripture. It says, Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, Esau and his trickery. For we wrestle because we're fighting, not against flesh and blood, meaning the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but against principalities. 
and against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take ye unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. That's when you have a Basham Yahushai comes back to bring destruction, we'll be able to stand and, and, and be in, in, in boldness, as it said in uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5. Then shall your righteous be in great boldness, right? In the face of, a, of such a, as have afflicted him. That is in the Apocrypha. It says, and having done all to stand, meaning you did the works. You did the works, you did, you keep yourself unspotted from the world, try your best, you try your best and had a faith. Most of all, had the faith to endure to the end. Because it's faith is what going to make you endure to the end. Faith is what does, 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 does push you in the truth, the belief that the Son of God actually real and He's coming back. It's from the time you start to doubt that, then you're going to fucking follow, point blank period. The Son of God real. The Son of God is real. He is, he is actually, right now He is alive. He liveth. Do we see Him? Hell no. Physically, I mean, hell no, we, do, we don't see him, we, don't, we, don't, we can't see him, we can't see the Father. We can't see him, we can't see the Father, we can't see, the, we can't see them. Right? No, we can't. Did people see him? Yes, they did. And they gave their account and it now in the Bible. That's why the Apostle Peter said, therefore we have a more sure word of prophecy. You understand? But no, it's just solely based on faith. We, we don't see no sign. I rejoice... Therefore, in the children to come, who are yet having not seen any, that is in second as just, not having seen any signs, yet they have believed. Alright? So that is what we have to do to stand. It says in, in um, verse 14, Stand therefore having your loins girt about the truth. This is, how, this, is what we, this is what we prepare himself with for the war. Truth. And having on the breastplate of righteousness, we the we, we breastplate, okay, where you just pour on your chest, alright, and your feet shut with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith, you're preparing for war, but this is, this is the weapons of our warfare here, not knives, not guns, not, not, not bombs, because Esau is the carnal man. He have all of that. He have all of that. If Esau, that's why the scripture say it is because of the grace of the Lord we are not consumed. If Esau was to roll up on us now, how can we be all dead in, the, in our time? In one hour time, we're dead. We don't have no life again in us. That is it. If he saw us to roll up on us and, and use his toys, boy, we all dead. Because we don't we have shit compared to what our man have. But what we have, what we have is faith and try and keep it spiritual and hope as these fucking black unconscious coons that say. Oh, so you really believe that a black man is going to crack them skies with char with uh, uh, so-called UFOs and deliver you all? Get out of here! Yes, we, we have to believe that. Because why? It don't have we this this the this that's the only way out of here. It don't have a next way. If you join with Esau you're going on dead. Because Esau is fallen. Look at his infrastructure of his of his of his kingdom right now. Look at the interior of his kingdom. His buildings is deteriorating from the inside, just like it did in Rome. Right? His, his, his infrastructure, his bridges, his, his roads. Okay? He, he can't maintain it. <clears throat> and keep it up to standard because why? He is going down. Circling the drain. And if you decide to join with him, you'll go down. So the only way out, then this is what these guys did. Nate did it. General Johanna did it. Sakari did it. GOCC more than did it. Black Unconscious Group did it. All of these guys, they did it. They did it. 
Today go and go down right. Don't hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. But the seed of the righteous, the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Proverbs 11 verse 21. It, that is what it says there. It also says it in Proverbs 16 verse 5. Um, so continuing on. Wherewith all, wherewith he shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Now is the wicked actually sending fiery darts at us literally right now? Hell no. Well, yeah, you could say so because he does be shooting down Judah in the streets. You could say the darts we send in is the literal bullets. Shooting down Judah in the streets like dogs. Right? But in a spiritual sense, he's not sending no literal, actual fiery darts and, and doing it so at us. He's not doing that. What he's doing is slandering us, saying he's rapists. All right, calling us black Hebrew Israelites, saying that we is not God's chosen people. We just a bunch of false prophets coming out on the highways and the byways, saying we we rape twelve year old girls, saying we we um all kind of all kind of madness, all kind of madness. Right? We lying to the people. Okay. Trying to push this agenda. That we is not good people. And for, the, for our people to stick within his church system. That he says that. Okay. Verse 17. And, the, and take the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of the most high. Hebrews 4 and 12 again. So now if we believe in this. Praying, with, praying always with prayer. Because you have to pray. And supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and all supplication for all saints. Now, watching. What we have to watch? Look at what's going on in the world right now. Look at it. It's it, it right here. It's it, it here. It's it in me it in me house right now. Yeah, why why I was shy coming back? Point blank. Do I know do I not know what to say? Because what you are saying. Look at what Donald Trump do. He sent bombs in Syria. Alright? Look at what he did. So you feel you what you what you think? That one just stay right there, boy. This thing go on escalate. Tawada Yahawa Bahasham Yahawa Shai. Tawada Yahawa Bahasham Yahawa Shai. Tawada Yahawa Bahasham Yahawa Shai. Because the Lord say he go and do it. And you got nothing else to do but to do the Lord's will. All things have to be on that subjection. Unto Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. But this world rebellious. They know that. Everybody know they're supposed to be on that subjection under the Lord. But why? Now the Israelites first. And the other nations are to be in subjection under the Israelites. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai was an Israelite. He is an Israelite. Yeah, the most handy Yahweh yeah, is Israelites. Alright? Now the most high you have a, a line I just saying. If you if you, if there was a, to be here, is Israel the would I be? Not no fucking leprous either might. So get a get a damn pale faced devil out your head. He have no part in this. Caesar Borgia, that faggot to the purpose, the son of God, have no part in this. Buddha have no part in this. Ah, move it up again. Who is these fake gods again? Who Jake like this? Sir? All these fake gods have no part in this. Alright? So we, as I say, being Hebrew Israelites, which is actually the topic of the video, we ought to worship Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and fight for what? We believe in fight for our heritage because, as I say, there's some there's some coons, there's some wicked people right now in our own land. They in our own land calling themselves us. In Ezekiel 37, I mean 36, but in Ezekiel 37, wait, say the valley had dry bones. Now, those bones dry, those bones dry. Was the only those bones being dry was the only reason the so-called white man 
was able to call himself Israel because he was dry. It says, Also thou son of man prophesy on Ezekiel, I read Ezekiel 36. Also thou son of man prophesy, Ezekiel 36 verse 1, Salah. Prophesy unto the mountains of Israel and say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord Paul, because the enemy had said against you, Aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Who is the enemy? Who is the enemy? Psalms 83 verse 1, a song of Psalm of Asaph. Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones, which is the prophets. Um, they have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. Let me see who is the enemies, the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites, which the both of them right now occupying we fucking land. <coughs> the both of them too, the scripture now call, saying, they, those were the main ones who say, aha, uh -huh, even the ancient high places are ours. Presently this day, the both of them won over Edom, which is, which is um, you so-called white people, the Ishmaelites, which is you so-called Arabs, all are warring over our land, which was promised to our forefather Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not to you all. For they have consulted um the ish, uh, for they have consulted together with one consent. Oh, we are one, all of them on one mind. Let we do wickedness. Tie the mind. When we was doing right when we were doing righteousness, but we became wicked also. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, the Ishmaelites, of Moab, and the Hagarines, Gebal and Ammon, Amalek, which is also the Edomite. Ammon is the the uh, uh, Moab is the Chinese. All of them is the enemies. Hagarines, Gebal and Ammon is the more um uh, the Japanese, Amalek is the so-called Jews, the Philistines, which is Hamites, Africans, but the inhabitants of Tyre, Asher also is joined to, with, with them. They have opened the children of Lot Salah. That is our enemies. So going back in um, Ezekiel 36, verse, verse 2. It says, Thus said the Lord Power, because the enemy had said against you, Aha, even the high ancient high places are ours <coughs> in possession. So then we're so happy to say, well, and we'll continue reading on. Therefore, prophesy and say, Thus said the Lord Power, because they have made you desolate. Didn't they do that? Who was wrong? They're not stopping slavery. The Hamites, Israelites, and Ishmaelites which is the so-called Africans, we own people, some of them, some of our own people were selling we in slavery too, and the freaking Ishmaelites. And swallowed you up, and who they were selling us to? The Edomites. Just with the white man, the Europeans. So they were wrong, they us up in the western coast of Africa, Selling us to these so called white people, and that made us desolate completely and swallowed you up on every side that he might be a possession. Sometimes to possess something, it could be given to you, or you could buy it. We were bought unto the residue of the heathen. And you are taken up in the lips of talkers and, a, in, and a, an infamy of the people. Yeah, in the lips of... Hey, look at them now, boy. Look at how them get... Huh? Like dogs. Um, Lamentation chapter 2 verse 15. It says, Infamy of the people. Therefore, you mountains of Israel, hear the word of the power, the power, your power. Thus said the Lord power, 
to the mountains, unto the hills, unto the rivers, unto the valleys, unto the desolate wastes, unto the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey and derision to the residue of the heathen that are round about. That is our land. Therefore thus said the Lord Power, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which if you look up that word, clung my guess smart and say, why do me I mean that we find out? Now this is what this is what Satan does do. You see? See you see? See what Satan does do? Oh. But normal leaders go too quick. Edom H one twenty three. I do me as is that right? Let's be a little bit there. Normally, just do we didn't have this in trouble, so right? Eh? Well, anyhow, he dumb. That's why I do me, I mean, he dumb might. I do me on descendants of Esau. So, that is, that is the people and them. The, them. And against all I do me, which have appointed my land in their, into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds that cast it out for a prey. The land of the Lord is Jerusalem, which is a people, they, they appointed the people and the actual land into their possession. Scripture say, Who possesses slay them? They are our possessors, right? They possess us right now. And who the self not guilty? Right? That is Zechariah 11 verse 5. So, it say, The Idumians and the residue of the heathen appointed the Most High's land into their possession with the joy of all their heart. They were so happy to get us out of the land and to live in our land. <coughs> so, that is why we ought to fight for our heritage. <coughs> because these people and them in the glee living in our own land they 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 they, they don't want to get out of it right so we ought to fight for our heritage and proclaim that we are hebrew israelites and proclaim the saving of of our savior the salvation of our savior yahweh bashami our shy on the highways and the byways or do we sit down so whatever it takes proclaim that and push that and push that vibration out there and mash up the and mash up the, the lies of the wicked. Destroy it. Isaiah 25 verse 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering that is cast above all nations and the, and the veil that is spread over all people. The truth is what going to do that. And that is how we fight in this fucking wicked place. Alright? That is how we fight in. We are not fighting with no physical fight. We fight him with the scriptures, the word of Yahweh Bashami Shai. That is how Yahweh Shai taught us to fight because that is how he fought Satan. He fought Satan when Satan come and tempt try and tempt him. What he do? He say, hey, XYZ, bring out scriptures. We ought to do the same thing and have faith in the Lord that we will get delivered out of here. Alright? Have faith in the Lord that we will get delivered out of here. And with that, I go and say Shalom, Barakatai, Awa Basham, Awa Shai. The water for everything you have done, all that you're doing now, and all that you're about to do, because we see what you're doing now. You're bringing it real to the heathen, you're bringing it real upon the earth. And that is through the apostles of Great Millstone prophesying all the way down. Alright? So, Shalom, Barakatai. I will come back again very shortly.